Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is a video to my female supporters and of course since the majority of you are men you can show this to your wife, daughter, sister, girlfriend, whomever it might be, the women in your life. Because of course as we all know women are in uh, certain parts of the western world under attack just as men so it's important that we talk about this topic again not the most white pilling or pleasant of topics but you know very important still to talk about and i aim to discuss a few different angles of this in uh, in this little forest walk or lake walk or whatever we shall refer to it as so basically i will talk about the the cultural side of things the portrayal of female warriors in um, TV series etc because we have to be realistic when we talk about these sort of things. So first I will tell my daughter of course that she's not a weak victim. That's the absolute first step every woman has to realize that you know you you can definitely defend yourself in a successful way but you also have to realize that if some feminist tells you that you know men and women are the same have the same capacities or if you look at vikings or whatever and you see a shield maiden throwing around men twice her size it's not realistic in the least so you have to first and foremost come to terms with the primordial truth say you know what these techniques will not work because i'm simply not strong enough so for example i can do a lot of things to a human body because i am quite strong a woman who is not at the same strength can't do the same techniques so we have to look at what works now before i begin to talk about what you can actually train the absolutely best thing and this is a must for all gallant sisters in uh, good old america or wherever you have guns um, legally you know train with your gun as often as possible get as good at it as possible um, the, the geese of wisdom they are they are shouting their approval of this message just so you know some nice wholesome background noise I'm at a lake that's why we have these birds in the background so basically what you want to do is you want to repeat the drawing of a gun and perhaps shooting as well you want to drill it into your muscle memory so that when you are in a stressful situation you can just pull up your gun be ready to shoot that is a total strength equalizer if you have a gun so if you can obtain a weapon that's the absolutely best thing you can possibly do and keep it at all times. So if you are a woman in America, have a gun. If you are a man in America and if you have a sister or a wife or something, say to them you have to have a gun. That's the absolutely best thing. Um, but you know, in, in Europe we can't really have guns because then you will get into trouble with the law. So you have to rely upon other ways to defend yourself and then also even if you have a gun it can always be a good idea to you know use your body as a weapon as well uh, use your limbs as weapons this goes for men as well you know uh, a gun is good but you should also be able to you know unarmed defense because you can't bring a gun everywhere same thing with knives etc um, you can't bring it everywhere and you can get into trouble so the best thing is always to have you know you can defend yourself just just the way you are so to speak so basically I mentioned that you shouldn't view yourself as a helpless victim and uh, there's plenty of stories in Sweden where you know some potential rapists have attacked the wrong girl she's been very proficient in Thai boxing primarily and she has beaten them up so you know you have that sort of possibility and in regards to strength in fighting etc strength is very important but more so when it comes to grappling etc so when I say it's unrealistic with a woman 
throwing men around. Yeah, it is unrealistic, but it's not unrealistic with unrealistic with a woman who knocks guys out because it's something that a woman who you know, has trained uh, she can still do it, especially if the potential attacker doesn't really count upon it. So you know you can train Thai boxing uh, or just boxing. Uh, definitely, it will good give you a good foundation to defend yourself. Then also another thing when it comes to strength differences between men and women, the upper body is vastly different, but the lower body, so the legs aren't as different. So what you can do is you can have really powerful kicks and knees as a woman. And you know, if you land a clean knee or a clean shin in someone's face, yeah, you can knock them out even if you are a relatively light woman because you can generate so much power in your legs. So Taekwondo, also a good choice here. You know, Thai boxing, Taekwondo, kickboxing, uh, all, all good choices. So you can definitely defend yourself successfully. And also, don't be a weak victim. Uh, don't be afraid to use violence. It's always better to use more violence than less violence. Uh, especially if someone attacks you, they see a weak victim, they want to rape you or whatever. Um, then also, we have to talk a bit about not being stupid. That's the... Perhaps I should have begun this video by just mentioning don't be stupid. Because a lot of girls, especially in countries like Sweden, where we've had a large, quite intense propaganda, uh, to put it mildly, propaganda that we now need to, you know, counter counteract. And what I mean is that, you know, be, be intelligent. Don't be in situations with men who well, I can't say too much, but you can guess what kind of men uh, in dodgy places at dodgy hours of the day. Uh, usually when you hear about gruesome things happening, it's because certain girls have been with certain men at certain places at certain hours. And, uh, you know, by just thinking a bit beforehand, by not being naive, um, you can avoid a lot of bad things. And this is your responsibility. And this is your responsibility as a man, as a brother or as a father to say, you know what, no, you're not supposed to be at these places because you might not understand it yourself, but it is dangerous for you. And that's also a difference between men and women. Men are better at picking up danger. Women are more naive. So you have to tell her, you know, this is not a good idea. It's not a good idea to go to a nightclub at 3 o'clock in the morning, being drunk, being uh, lightly dressed. And then someone might say, oh, I'm victim blaming. No, I'm just trying to help women to not get raped. That's what I am doing. You are not living again. It's the same thing as I said to all guys. You can't go around like this wanting to be everyone's friend. You're not living in a secluded utopia anymore. You're living in Gotham City. So, yeah, you can take it or leave it. I'm just saying if you want to avoid a lot of bad things, yeah, you can avoid those situations by just not being stupid. So that's also a very important thing to un unbrainwash yourself. Don't be naive and don't be stupid. Now then also, again, in regards to female warriors in culture, etc. I have nothing against it as long as it is somewhat realistic. If it is an, a light assassin type female who kills men or other women or monsters or whatever, that's completely fine. Or you know, you can have females such as, I don't know, Arvan in Lord of the Rings, for example. Yeah, it's a good, graceful, elven princess. But it's just when you have those type of shield maidens in Vikings, for example, it just gets to a point where it's so so cringe because it's so unrealistic. And then you say, oh, but isn't fantasy unrealistic? Yeah, it is, but to a certain extent, but you can still be 
it's somewhat true to uh, the biological reality. So again, don't be naive, don't overestimate yourself. Same thing you shouldn't underestimate yourself, but it's just knowing what works and what does not work. So basically to conclude this little tutorial, I suppose, I don't know what to call it, this video at least. First and foremost, if you have the possibility of having a gun or a weapon, definitely do so. That's the ultimate strength equalizer and the best way to defend yourself. Uh, and also, of course, if you are pro-woman, you are pro-gun. Uh, simple as that. Uh, if you're anti-woman, you're anti-weapons. Uh, because weapons are the ultimate means of self-defense, especially for women. Then also, you can definitely defend yourself successfully. Uh, you should train, you should definitely train, and you should not be afraid to use your training. Then lastly, last but definitely not least, I should say, don't be naive, don't be at bad places, at uh, bad times. And then of course, and then of course also, if you have a man, he is responsible for your well-being, so make sure to be together with a man who understands responsibility, who understands honor, who understands loyalty, who understands that it's his responsibility to make sure that you are safe. Then of course, again, it's not optimal, but sometimes you will be on your own. Maybe you will get attacked in broad daylight. It wouldn't be the first time it happens, especially not in Sweden, so you have to be prepared for anything and everything. But uh, yeah, keep your wits about you, don't be naive, be careful who you spend time with and don't view yourself as a passive victim, but at the same time be realistic about your physical possibilities, what you can do in terms of defending yourself. So anyway, show this to a woman you might, you think might need to hear it. And thank you for watching. XXO. Boom.